out of the box or out of the wall, whatever I call it, we have, boom, dangerous driving. So apparently this is by the creators of the original Burnout series. So I was intrigued. Is it as thrilling as that or not so much? Let's find out. <laughs> Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon, reviewing Dangerous Driving. Even though I say it's Dangerous Driving, there's actually another game called Danger Zone 2. So let's look at both games real quick. Danger Zone is the one where, remember in Burnout, where you would go as fast as you can, try to get the medallions and blow shit up? That is that zone, and that's the one I like the most. Dangerous Driving is mostly you have different classes, the SUVs, the sedans the pickup trucks, etc., etc., and you're doing these courses, and you're trying to do races, different types of time trials, cop chases, you know, get to the finish line the first. And while it is fun, unfortunately, it is very, very repetitive. Yes, you can feel some differences in the handling of some of the cars and the drifting. However, when you're just doing the same things over and over again, oh, another medallion, up oh, another time trial, up oh, another cop one, up oh, another deuce three laps, and it's very repetitive through each class, you're just like, how much time do I really want to invest in this game? And you don't really want to, because I was like, you know what, I'm going to try to do all classes, but I realize I have one life, and I really don't want to go through each class one. It's repetitive over and over and over again, kind of like how I'm sounding like in this video right now. So the dangerous driving one, to me, it's a pass. The Danger Zone one, I think that's the more fun where you're controlling the car midair, trying to get the exact placement on the map to cause the most carnage. However, it still feels a huge downgrade from the original Burnout Paradise, Burnout 2, and all the EA ones when they didn't go downhill overall. So if you see this and it's maybe $10, sure, give it a rent or maybe grab it off a of GameStop and see if it's worth it, but overall, it's a very repetitive experience. Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know things, Topia. you Blue Tonians, thank you for watching, have a great day, and I'll give you watch this tape tomorrow, week from now, month from now, year from now, every single freaking one of you. Enjoy life, peace and love, and let's see how many other video game reviews I piss people off with.